Hi everyone, so in this video we will learn how you can find duplicate items in an array using JavaScript. So let's get started. Let's have basic HTML structure here. Link to our style sheet. Add the script file at the bottom which is script.js. We need one div element, one button. Text will be get duplicates. We need one ul element it will be empty we'll populate it later using javascript save it go to style sheet select div element width will be 20 percent margin will be auto select button element padding will be 10 pixels display will be inline block later we'll have a bunch of li elements so let's select the li element here play style will be none font weight will be bold font size will be around 20 pixels margin left will be minus 40 pixels save it Open this file in the browser and this is the output. Let's go to script file and add a couple of items here. Create an array of users and we'll have a couple of names here. Peter, Max, John, James, and Mary. We need one function to create an array of list items and later we'll convert that array into a string. So let's make it add users. We'll take a parameter that will be usernames. We'll create a template. So first of all we'll loop through users using the map function and create a array of list items. Now we need to form a string out of this array. So we'll make use of join method like this. Now we need to display the list items. So we'll select the UL element using query selector like this. And inner SQL will be equal to template. Now let's call this function here and pass users as parameter, save it, go to browser and this is the output. Now let's go to script file and select this button and add event listener to it. So it will be btn get document.query selector button and event will be click. This will be the handler function. Now to get duplicate names from this array, we have to make use of filter function. But before that, uh, let me repeat these last two names like this. So now we have two duplicate names. So let's make it usernames, users.filter. And here we'll have user and the current index. Then we'll make use of index of method on the users array and we'll check if the index written by the index of method is equal to the current index. If it is not equal, I want to add it to the array. So it will go like this. Then we'll call this method add users and pass this usernames as parameter. Now just save it, go to browser. So when I will click on this get duplicates, I want to get James and Mary. Click. Let me see what's the issue. Okay, so it should be usernames not users. Save it, go to browser. 
click and now we're getting the names now so far it's working absolutely fine but this approach will fail if i'll have more duplicate names like this save it go to browser click now you can see we are getting duplicates again in such a scenario you have to make use of set object so let's create a set here so it will be set equal to new set we'll pass usernames like this then we'll convert set into a array because whenever you make use of set object it always returns unique items we'll make use of array from method to convert set into array like this now you save it you go to browser click and you can see it's working as expected i hope you got the point how it actually works see you in the next video have a nice day